Welcome to Indie Resources video 25 of how to make a browser based in more. This is Halls of Valhalla. I'm just going to continuation real quick on the messaging system. I kind of threw in some new stuff. Um, just to hit profile real quick. Um, I added in a profile of players. Um, you can give them gold now. It's nothing, nothing huge. I'm going to show you how I did it. It's real simple. And also I added in here to where you can actually put in a user, which we'll, we'll find, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll set up a way to where they just click on the name, but I'm just showing you through quick browser um, URL movement how we can actually look at other users and give other users gold so to go through the code first um, I did create another username test but I didn't do anything database um, all I did was is on the profile page I come in here and as far as the main menu which is our bypass I did do um, if is set get user in other words if we like I was showing you if that variables up there then we're, we want to post that, or not post it, I'm sorry, we want to get it in turn and, and basically set the variable user as whatever that is. Else, if there's nothing up there, then we just want to make it the player. So in other words, if we don't have anything there, then it's just going to be you, yourself, whoever's playing. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is, we probably could get rid of that center, let's see, no, let's leave that there. Um, we're going to do O player, which I just considered other player. We're going to select all from players where name equals user. I would say you could do, to make this one less query, if it's yourself, you could take that out. But for now, I'm not going to. Just have a query. It's select all from players where name equals user. Because technically, if it's yourself, you've already queried for this. But, you know, you guys can do that. The username, the class, the level, their location. Um, I set up a give money. It's just a form. Um, name is give gold value equals one, and the value goes to whoever the player is. So, and then we put how much we want to give. So, if we come up here to give gold, so when we hit that submit button, we've now set the post variable of give gold. Notice I did not change the bypass to one, I want it to stay there, and I'll show you what it does. But we're going to get the user, we're going to get the amount, and then first we're going to check to make sure the person giving the gold even has that much. If If their gold is less than the amount, they do not have enough gold. Else, that means they do, then we're going to set up a randed. We're going to we're going to go ahead and insert a message saying that they've been given gold because I mean, let's say, you know, if somebody gives you five five gold, you'll never know it because how are you going to notice I mean you might notice five gold, but then you don't know who gave it to you and everything else. So we're going to go ahead and add a message into there saying um this person gave you gold. Um and you'll see there's the message received money, blah 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 the uh, and the message is so and so gave you that much gold and then we're going to update um, the players and you notice I have update ship it's just from another <laughs> something else I take took but it, it works all the same update players set your gold plus the amount to who you gave it to and then you want to take away from whoever gave it and then gold transferred so let's look at this real quick let's have I tell you what we know how much gold we have here we have 24 gold with halls so let's 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 log in under test. Have him give the gold. And okay, now we're under test. So let's go to our profile, and you'll see we're here now. If we give money now, we're just going to give it to ourselves. So we're going to do user equals halls, and there's halls right there. So we have 21. He had 24. So let's give him 10 bucks. Give gold. If you notice. That's going to stay the same because it's playing before everything else, but it does say gold transferred, so when we go back, that goes to 11 now. It's just because it's one step behind, and we can fix that later. Um, so now that we've done that, now let's go, let's log in under halls and see what happens. He should have a message, and he should only have, he should have 34 gold now. Okay, I'm logged in. There's my new message. There's my 34 gold. I go to my messages. It's a new one, system received money, let's read it, it says test has given you 10 gold. So let's go ahead and delete that, go back. And that's pretty much it for the uh, for the gold. The We will set up later on selecting, I was kind of thinking maybe we set up um, uh, where you can select anyone in your location, so we could select everybody by their locations. And um, then you could click on the name and give them gold or send them a private message or something like that. We, there's a lot of different ways we can do it. But for now, you can see how the setup is. And you may want to set it up differently. One thing that I got to thinking about we may want to go ahead and do is let's go to our, let's open up our reg user. 
whenever a player registers. One thing I left out is an actual date for them. Um, which actually we don't even have to go in here. All we gotta do is go in the database. If we go in the database, we should probably set up a date that they registered. That way you know when they registered. So let's just add one table. And just let's let's add it after email. I mean I'm sorry, one field. And we'll just call it date um date sign on or date registered let's call it that and we're just gonna make it a oops we're gonna make it a timestamp and we're gonna do just like before current timestamp save it and now every time they register you'll have the timestamp now what you can do now is let's go to players let's see what their time they're they're all at zero right now so you, they're going to show zero, but any new players are going to show something different. So if you want to, real quick, we can um, let's register a new player. We'll call him Test Two. The other thing we need to do is we need to change these to we need to mask these. So I'll put that on my to-do list. It's it's real easy. Test two at blah 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 whatever it doesn't matter. We'll just leave it at test two. We'll make them a night and we'll submit login page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log under halls. <coughs> we're gonna go back to our code and we're gonna go to our profile page. And here I want to put their date of when they registered. So we're gonna put date that way you know how old the player is and you can actually if you wanted to you could put um, age of player or age of since registered and you can actually do a minus of current time but I'm not really gonna worry about that right now I think that's right so if we go to our profile you'll see his is zero but if we come in here and put user equals test two whoops these two, you'll see they now have he does he's not in a location because he's never moved anywhere, but there's his when he registered. So that's something a little additive we can throw in. There's a lot of little things that we can keep adding to this thing, but what I want to go to next is I want to go to a guild system because we're not done here. We're going to actually add what guild these people are a part of. We're going to allow them to upload pictures and stuff. Um, but there's been a lot of questions about guilds, so that's going to be the next video.